let's see a new question on geometry today. Uh, we have been given a quarter circle here. In this circle, we have been given few measurement like CD is given here as 3 here. Uh, we have been given B as 5 here. One of the uh, slant line here is 4 root 2 and we have to find out radius. Uh, let us uh, start this question and approach how to approach this question in a way that we can find out R. So, uh, suppose I just draw a dotted line from here to make uh, this one of the rectangle. Suppose this is the line I am drawing and this is my rectangle here. From center if I just put a line here to meet it to one of the curved ends, what happens is that it will bisect this line which is the D line, which is the slant line d so this measurement will be 2 root 2 this will be 2 root 2 also this will be 2 root 2 this will be 2 root 2 and this is parallelly 3 right and the remaining distance this is 2 as this whole distance was 5 okay so this is what we get when we draw a rectangle sort of thing here right again if you see uh, this line which is 2 is like uh, the excess line here we will again write a dotted line here till this point so this will be 2 here this will be 3 here and we will assume that this remaining length is nothing but x okay now I would like you to just concentrate on two triangles here uh, one of the triangles let's suppose this point is f and uh, one of the uh, triangle which I want to look at is b o f so triangle b of f here is something like this here dotted line is there and this is 90 degree angle okay so the other two angle which will be there will have a sum of 90 degree suppose this is alpha and this is beta so their sum will be 90 degree so alpha plus beta will be 90 degree or complementary ang angles right similarly if i just concentrate on ogc triangle here ogc is made like this here just this this triangle here o g and c i can see that one of the angles here is also 90 degree so if i assume here we had beta so obviously this remaining angle should be alpha from complementary angle which we have seen here as alpha plus beta is 90 degree so this will be my alpha and this will be my beta here we have what x plus 2 here we have what 2 root 2 for OBF, what we have here we have 2 root 2 okay here we have x and here we have beta angle here we have alpha angle just have a look at uh, these two angles uh, triangles so we will see one of the angles is alpha in BOF triangle and similarly in triangle GOC also we have alpha angle one of the angles is beta here also we have beta other angle is 90 degree and 90 degree so from angle 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 similarity we can say bof is nothing but similar to goc triangle here now when such similarity happens the ratio of sides has to be equal so just see alpha the side in front of alpha is x for my bof triangle and similarly in goc the side in front of alpha is 2 root 2 so we will find ratio of that similarly side in front of beta is what 2 root 2 for BOF so beta ke samne, 2 root 2 is there and for this triangle GOC in front of beta we have x plus 2 now we will solve this x square plus 2x 2 root 2 2 root 2 becomes 8 so x square plus 2x plus 8 equal to 0 let's solve this 4x minus 2x plus 8 equal to 0 sorry this will be minus 8 uh, let let me simplify this here so this is minus set here this is also minus set so x x plus 4 minus 2 x plus 4 become 0 and we get 2 question here x minus 2 x plus 4 equal to 0 as x is side of the triangle so x cannot be negative x cannot be minus 4 so x has to be 2 here so what do we get we get x as 2 now what happens in this triangle the radius is suppose which line will be radius if I draw this dotted line it will be radius this x comes to other two lengths are 2 and 3 and this length vertical length is 2 root 2 
So what we are getting for the radius, if I, this is my radius here. So what is we are, we are getting what? We are getting a length of 7 here or we are getting a vertical length of 2 root 2 and my radius is this. So I will just apply Pythagoras theorem here. So r square will become 7 ka square plus 2 root 2 ka whole square which gives me 49 plus 8 which is 57 and r becomes root 57. So this is my answer. Hope you get this concept. Thank you so much for watching.